Hi everyone, Ori Azmi from BikesRepublic.com and today I have something special for you. I'm going to show you some of the key differences between the old 2013 Honda CB500X ABS against the new facelifted 2016 Honda CB500X ABS model. Now as you can see, the difference is quite stark aesthetically. This 2013 model, although it comes with an aftermarket uh, windscreen, the older windscreen, I was told, was shorter about here and gave you little to no wind deflection. Moving on to the new facelift model, as you can see, it's a nice larger unit with a nice angle to it that offers you some solid wind deflection. More importantly, it's got these lures that channels the air, which not only reduces buffeting here, but channels some cooling air to the rider as well. And uh, it is adjustable, a bit fiddly, but adjustable nonetheless. I will show you, but like I said, it's fiddly. We'll do that some other time. Uh, key differences, as you can see, the new bike comes with LED HID lighting up front, which replaces the old bike's halogen system. And the story is the same at the back. The tail light now comes with LED lighting with a new graphic, so it's a lot clearer. And both gives, inspires a lot more confidence to ride at night. And uh, another change up front here is the beak design. So you can see this one's a lot sharper, a lot sportier than this. <laughs> but each to his own, you know? Now, another thing Honda was priding about with this new bike is a slightly larger tank. Visually, they look almost the same. However, the change is very minute. For one, this is the new facelift bike's tank assembly. It may not look like much, but as you can see, with the locking pins, you can, uh, you can install a lot more accessories here. And this is something most avid long-distance touring riders would love. However, the diff on the older bike, it's that. It's pretty bland, you can't do much with it. Now, another thing that Honda has pride about with the new bike is this, an adjustable five-level brake lever. So it has somewhat improved riding comforts a little bit. However, for me, the biggest improvement comes from the shape of the profile of the side, sides here. As you can see, this new bike comes with an air dam. So it channels air away from your leg and knees. Makes it a lot easier to ride at higher speeds, unlike this one. So, uh, <laughs> uh, I was also for, meant, I was also pointed out on the difference between this front suspension. As you can see, this new bike comes with an adjustable top on both sides, whereas this older bike, it doesn't. <laughs> Okay, last but not least, as cliche as this sound, I know most of you want, want to know how this bike sounds like. So, I will tell you that it sounds like any other parallel twin, but you be the judge of it. So one accessory you might want to consider buying when you buy this bike is perhaps a slip-on end cap at the very least. Now, to know more about the, about the Honda CV 500X facelift, check on our article later on, alright? Have a great day, folks.